Welcome to this video tutorial on web design, in which we will create, with the program Blue Griffin, a simple web page with two tables. One with relative width, defined in percentage of the browser window, and another one with absolute width, defined in pixels. We'll see how they behave when resizing the browser window. First of all, open Blue Griffin. You can use the Programs Finder, and display the Style Properties panel. Then, create a new web page by clicking on File, New. Now, you are going to set a background color for your web page. Down here, click on Body. Then, go to the Style Properties panel and in Apply Styles to, select all elements of the same type. Click on Colors, Background, and select a light color you like. For example, Light Yellow. Now, save it. Click on File, Save. Firstly, you are asked to enter a page title. That is the name of Blue Griffin tab. Enter Home Page and click OK. Then, you are asked to select your working folder and enter a file name. Type in Blue Griffin 2 and your names. Mine is Blue Griffin 2 Oscar. Now, enter the following title. Table 1, relative with percentage. Then, align center, bold, and underline this title. Insert two blank lines. Hit enter twice. Now, insert a table with five rows and two columns. Click on Table, Table Properties, and set width to 95% and click Apply. Click on Cells and select Columns. Click on Next until you see the left column is selected. Set Width to 60% and Align Left. Click on Next until you see the right column is selected. Don't worry about this white background color as we will change it later. Set width to 40% and align center. Click OK. Now, to center the table, click on Table, Select, Table, and click right here. Select rows 1 and 2 and set a light background color. For example, light blue. And for rows 3, 4, and 5, set a dark background color. For example, dark blue. Save it. Okay, go to row 3. Select both cells and join them. Save it. Now, fill in the table with the following text. Notice the font color in rows 3 and 4. Now, select this text and click on Ordered List. Select this title and underline it. And finally, 
select this text and click on ordered list. Save it. As you can see, there are two lines here, so I will remove one and I'll save it. Insert two blank lines and enter the following title. Table 2, Absolute Width, Pixels. Insert a blank line. And now, insert a table with four rows and two columns. Go to Table Properties and set width to 1000 pixels and click Apply. Then click on Cells and select Columns. Click on Next until you see the left column is selected. Set width to 700 pixels and align left. Click on next until you see the right column is selected. Set width to 300 pixels and align left. Click OK and save it. Now, set a light background color for rows 1 and 2, for example, light green, and a dark background color for rows 3 and 4, for example, dark green. Save it. Now enter the following text. Center the table. Okay, now put the first row in both tables in bold. Save it. Finally, open your web page. Mine is bluegriffin2oscar.html with your browser. Follow the instructions in row four of table number one and try to understand the behavior of both tables. Notice how table one, with relative width, resizes according to the size of the browser window, while table two remains the same size no matter how you change the size of the browser window. Which one do you think is the best for a website? That's all for now. Thanks for watching. while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite